little detail, but a value. Let me let you know. If you rub a rough surface against a smooth one, and this is particularly abrasive, it slides over it relatively easily. But a rough surface against a rough one, oh my goodness, you've got friction in there. This is going to be hard going. So, it is your smoothness when you're confronted with people that are less so that enables the two of you to get the best out of the situation. And when, of course, it's smooth against smooth, well, it glides over each other. Beautifully. Bless you. Thank you, Dad. And something I learnt from a chap, he had some engineering experience. He was actually running a Christian cafe in Devonport in, uh, well, it was their own cafe, in um, Auckland. And it was called Abide in the Vine, a very Christian title, of course, a, a name. And he said you could get a smooth welding, cold welding, if the two, I think, steel or metal surfaces were absolutely smooth and um, flat, utterly flat, so that the one touched entirely the other. You could hold them together, and even for a little while, and you'd get what was known as a cold welding. I think I understood this in terms of the molecules um, mixing between the two surfaces. Might work especially well for iron or steel, you know, I don't know. Um, but you get a cold welding, and that fascinated me. You, you have to have a, an amazingly smooth and flat surface both surfaces have to be that, you know. They've got to be absolutely maximally, maximally in contact with each other. Lovely. What do we learn from these two points? What relationships can be welded together wonderfully and beautifully. Both of you in some sense, perfectly smooth. I don't quite know, you know, the spiritual analogy, but you're a, you're a beautiful harmony to be with, and so are they. My goodness, you have a a welding there that's for life. And when things are not uh, quite so harmoniously matched, the smoother you are, well, the better the situation will be. <laughs> and I guess that's what loving your enemies is about, isn't it? Hmm, have I said it all? I'm not, not sure of it. Thank you, Dad.